Hey guys, this is Lauren Good from The Verge. Android Marshmallow, Google's newest operating system for mobile devices, starts rolling out today to Nexus phones and tablets first, and then other Android devices in the coming weeks. And one of the most buzzed about features with Android Marshmallow is something called Now on Tap. We've seen Now on Tap before in a couple demos. One uh, was at Google I.O. earlier this year, and some of our Verge colleagues have also gotten demos of Now on Tap. But Google's made some major strides with this since it was first announced in May, and we're going to take a look at what it can do. So the premise here with Now on Tap is that basically you're going to access much more information directly from within an application. And this is all part of Google Now. So it's all part of Google's attempts to make the smartphone even smarter. Here's an example. I'm going to go into Messenger here where someone named Fred has asked me if we should go and see The Martian this weekend. Now, this is what's really cool about this. The Martian is both a book and a movie. But given the context clues that the word C is in here, Google now on tap knows this is referring to the movie. So when I hold down this button here, these results come up. You can see there's an IMDb page. If you go to YouTube, it takes you to the movie trailer because what do people like to do when they're considering going to a movie? They watch a movie trailer. But Google Now on Tap also works with voice search. So if I was curious, more curious about the book, I could say something like, OK, Google, who wrote the book? Andy Weir wrote The Martian. And now I know who wrote the book in addition to information about the movie. OK, so that's just one example. Let's take a look at Instagram. Hillary Clinton's page here. What happens when I hit Google Now on Tap? Hillary Clinton, of course, is a pretty well-known public figure, so there are a lot of results here. Google, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, news, images, and more. Go to her Twitter. There you go. And go back, and uh, I stay within Twitter in this instance. In other instances, other apps, you might be taken back to the app you were in before. Another cool example, you can go to Viber. And uh, Fred being very persistent once again, asking uh, if I want to go see lane eight. Now I would hear that and I would probably think, is it a bowling alley? Um, this is where Google Now on Tap comes in handy. It's actually a musician. And from here, I can listen to lane eight's tracks just as I would if I went and Googled him and Googled lane eight songs or something like that. But I just get it directly from the conversation that we're having. So that's supposed to be the value of now on tap. It doesn't require any kind of updates from third party app developers in order for it to work properly. Um, all of the work is being done by Google here. It's also completely voluntary. You don't have to opt into Google now uh, and you don't have to opt into now on tap within Google now. But if you're on a quest for a smarter smartphone, that's what Google's trying to do here.